I would like to begin this video by presenting you all with a question. Now this question is very simple, very straightforward, and I just want you to answer honestly, whether in the comments or even just to yourself. Have you ever sat there and thought, gee, I would love nothing more than a gigantic hyena to sit on me with his fat fucking ass that's only a quarter of the size of his ego? Alright, alright. If your answer was yes, I have a follow-up question. My follow-up question is, are you below the age of 18? Now, if you said yes to both of those questions, you may want to go talk to JC the Hyena. I hear he's doing macro butt crush roleplay with minors right now, so he's right up your alley. Yeah, he's right up your alley and you'll be right up his anus. Now, there have been a couple videos that have already come out. <laughs> Sorry, I need a minute. Seriously, who does this shit? Who does this fucking dumbass shit, man? I swear to God, people get dumber by the day. So several people have come out about JC the Hyena doing un role play with underage individuals, and yeah, it's a bit of a yikes, a bit of a yikes. It's about a, I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna award that one solid yike. I'm gonna give it a yikes on bikes, and we're gonna, we're gonna dive into that a little bit, and we're gonna dissect that, and we're gonna talk about that for a little while. Now, for those of you watching who don't know who JC the Hyena is, first off, I envy you. I wish I didn't know who that was. And two, I'm about to ruin your day because I'm going to tell you who he is. So strap in. Now, JC the Hyena is the author of the famous, famous masterclass creepypasta known as Sonic.exe, a Shakespearean tragedy that opens on the sentence, I'm a Sonic fan just like anybody else, and is about a haunted Sonic cartridge and plushie that's going to apparently euthanize the main character, Tom. Some of the details of that synopsis would may be off, but you know what, I don't give a shit. It's a terribly written story by a terrible human being, so I don't fucking care. However, back to the situation of ERPing with underage individuals, there has been a situation that has been developing on Twitter and on Kiwi Farms, on a lot of different places, YouTube as well, there are a lot of videos about this, um, where JC the Hyena has apparently been role-playing with a 14-year-old and claimed that he didn't know they were 14, even though the 14-year-old directly stated that they were 14. Um, I'm not going to talk as much about that particular instance. I feel like there's enough people who've talked about that one already. Instead, I'm going to be talking about a separate instance, which has now been fully confirmed to have happened uh, sometime in the past eight years, where he had done this previously. So a user on Twitter by the name of False Cow stated, It's 5 a.m. and I'm reading this about to cry. Thank you for speaking up about this. I am another victim of JC's grooming from eight years ago, and I never gathered the courage to say anything about it. My DMs are open, and you have my full support. I'm so, so sorry you dealt with this too. Now, the verification for this story has come out, and it seems to be all verifiable. Um, the old DeviantArt account of False Cow has been confirmed as well that they were 14. Now, there's an account called Master GGG, which is possibly a sock puppet account for JC the Hyena. Based on these interactions, I would not be surprised if that is the case. It seems like they know way too much personal information and speak too far on his behalf for it to not be the case, but again, I can't prove that. There are screenshots of Master GGG giving False Cow JC's personal email in 2012. And then there was a string of RP going on between these two individuals, JC the Hyena, directly from the JC the Hyena account on, I believe, Fur Affinity, um, and this underage individual. Now, the pieces of conflicting information from what I can see are what it states on Kiwi Farms by the poster, as well as what the timestamps state. The timestamps state that these were seven years ago, which would be around 2014. The poster states that they were around 2012. Uh, either way, it doesn't make much of a difference in my opinion. The reason why is because it would leave this person being either 14 years old or 16 years old, somewhere in between, based on the ages we've gotten and the time frame we've gotten. Either way, they're a child. So, to me, it's one of those things where it it may make a difference, but not enough of one for me to say, oh, that's that's not a degenerate thing to do. You know, it's still fucking wrong. It's still a child at the end of the day. So regardless of 14 or 16, this is wrong. Now like I said, I'm not going to be going too deep into this situation. I'm not going to be going into the previous person's story that came out. I'm not going to be, you know, reading just 
kiwi farms verbatim to you people. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to link to some other sources that will help give you a more complete look at all of this. Uh, this has just been kind of a jumping off point, much like my last video, just so you kind of understand a little bit more about this situation. And if you want to know more, there's places you can go to find out more. So if you're interested, feel free to check those out. But I do think it's absolutely incredible what a little bit of fucking success on the internet will allow people to do. Like, look at the fucking ego on this dude, you know? Just because he wrote a shitty fucking, basically fanfic, not even creepypasta, basically a crazy fanfic from his demented little brain. And it went straight to his fucking ego, to the point that he thinks he can do anything he fucking wants to. <laughs> this shit's fucking nuts, dude. I swear to God, some people. JC, if you're watching this, you're not a big deal, okay? People just like to laugh at you. You don't have fucking... You're not a celebrity. You're not an author. You don't have fans. Nobody fucking cares. The only reason anybody cares about you right now is because you did some degenerate shit, okay? So why don't you just calm down the ego a little bit from now on, just like, have a little bit of, let's take a Kendrick Lamar approach, just be humble. Be a little humble there, JC. How about that? Just sit down, be, oh, actually, no, I probably shouldn't tell you to sit down, you'll probably sit on top of, like, five different fucking people. <laughs> Macro butt-crushing fucking role plays with children, dude, are you serious? Oh my god, that's, <laughs> that's fucking gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a new one for me. I've seen a lot of shit, but I have never seen that one. Like I, I usually don't kink shame people, but it's the weirdest, most niche kink I've ever heard of. Your fucking fetishes are getting super specific. They're getting degenerate as fuck and super specific, JC. You might need to talk to a doctor. <laughs> I'm, I'm rambling at this point. I'm just riffing. I'm just kind of. <laughs> Sorry, this is so stupid. Um, I'm, I'm. Oh God. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cap off this video before I go on another fucking tangent. Anyway, uh, for those of you who enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, feel free to subscribe. Um, there is also a link to my Discord server and my Patreon in the description, as well as my Telegram channel. Feel free to join those if you want to, and I will catch you guys later.